Hallelujah. If you like happy, if you like, fry your face. All I know is that my God is good to me. God is good to you. God is good to you. God will remain ever good to you. Hear me, we owe this God. We owe him. We owe him thanks. Now hear me. Do you know the mystery of sleeping and waking up? When you sleep, you are in another world. I slept and I woke up because the Lord preserved me. Now he has preserved you from the beginning of this month. You are seeing the last Sunday of this month. I'd like you to lift up your voice and thank this good God. Bless his name and give him praise. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. Thank you, King of Kings. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me kindness. You have shown me your marvelous head. You have been all in all. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for supply. Thank you for progress. Thank you for healing. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for wiping away tears from the face of the winner's family. Thank you for your intervention in Nigeria. We return all glory to you, faithful God. Blessed be your holy name. I thank you, my father. I thank you, ancient of days. Blessed be your holy name. You have not given me over to the will of the enemy. You have frustrated the counsel of the enemy. You have disappointed their altars. You have made diviners to be mad. I give you praise and I give you glory. For the entire church, for the entire winner's family, you are changing their story, rewriting destinies, wiping away shame, taking away reproach. Who is like unto thee, O God? Glory to your awesome name. Good God, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. In this covenant day of no more loss, your enemy will begin to suffer the losses. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever pertains to you and your family, no more loss. As the God of Oyedepo live it, for you and your family, no more loss. Whoever have targeted you for another loss, I decree they will remain desolate. Young man, just how will you start that can cry? The devil is wicked, though. So if you see any of his agents, don't spare them. Oh. Are you hearing me now? Yeah. Still in our series of Enough is Enough, we are going to take them in three different series. This morning, we are going to be focusing on the 
the passion wine. So we are going to look at the passion for the faith in this first service. In the second service, we are going to look at the passion for knowledge. And in the third service, we are going to focus on passion for prayer. Everyone God created, he created with a passion. Everybody has passion. Passion simply defines what you like to do with ease. You don't struggle to do it. Your spirit, soul, and body is driven in the direction of your passion. Jesus said, where a man's heart is, that's where his treasures are. And from time to time, your heart is in a particular thing. Where a man's heart is. Passion is the rule of life. The day you begin to lose passion, you begin to go passive. The moment you begin to lose passion, you begin to aspire. Oh Lord, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul longed for thee. My flesh tested after thee to see thee. To see thy power. As I have seen thee and, and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. There is no enough grammar to describe passion. You feel it, you know it. That's what passion determines too many things in our life. In your work, passion. In your relationship, passion. In your family, passion. In your academics, passion. My soul longed for thee. My flesh tested after thee. Passion determines power. Passion determines progress. Passion determines excellence. Governor University just graduated last week. A young girl made 4.99. She said, the reason why I made 4.99 is so that I will have a handshake with Oyeriko that day. Look at me. All of you look at me. You can make it. I say you can make it. So I made sure I make it so that Oyeriko must shake my hand well that day. with passion we break limits passionate people are unstoppable people The moment you begin to lose passion, you begin to lose relevance.
But hear this. Your portion in life is determined your passion. Is determined by your passion. Your portion. The psalmist said, The Lord is the lot of my inheritance. The Lord is the lot of my inheritance. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. You can't take what belongs to you in life if you lose passion. We live in a time and a season where people easily give up for things. Any little thing they give up. If you lack passion, you will not arrive at the fullness of God's plan and purpose for your life. If you made mistake, jack back to life. If you have fallen, stand up again. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Jack back your passion. Are you the first to be betrayed? They betrayed our master. And still he continued. Scripture says, for the joy that was set before him. People with passion don't look back. They keep looking front. Your glory is not behind you. Your glory is in front of you. So you must not lose passion. You keep keeping on because of where you want to reach. You are passionate does not mean that you will not make mistakes or does not mean that you will not fall. When you fall, rise up. Continue your journey. Your passion for the faith is the cure for your shame. Life is not to you what your enemy feels or thinks about you. Life is to you according to your faith. Jesus said it. It is to you according to your faith. I want you to hear this. You need passion for your faith to produce. Paul said that I may know him. He wants to know more. He's pressing more for the faith. In another place, he said, Contending for the faith that was once delivered unto you, you press on. The more faith is added, the more glory is added. The more you are passionate for faith, the more impossibilities are crushed. The more you are passionate for faith, the more doors are open. The more you are passionate for faith, the more your dominion is established. The more you are passionate for faith, the more your authority is established in the realm of the spirit. Faith is what increases our spiritual authority. Faith is what increases our supernaturality. That is why we must be passionate for our faith. Why do we need to be passionate for our faith? The day you start doubting God, Satan, you have become a houseboy in Satan's house. That's why you must be passionate for the faith. A day I spend in your court is more than a thousand years outside. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. The moment you begin to lose passion for God, you have an alternative God. 
The day you stop trusting God, you start trusting things. The day you stop trusting God, you begin to make people your hope. But let's look at Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 5. Thou say the Lord, cursed be the man that trusted a man and maketh flesh his arm and whose heart departed from the Lord. Verse 6. For he shall be like the heat in the desert and shall not see when good cometh but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness in a salt land and not inhabited. Look at verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. The next verse now. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when heat cometh, but his leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall he cease from yielding fruits. In other words, the sustaining force for our faith is passion. What sustained our faith is our passion for God. We keep running. We keep yearning to know him more. To believe him the more. The more we believe God, the more he shows up. Blessed is she that believeth. For there shall be a performance. All Galatians who has bewitched you. He said, did you start in the spirit to end up in the flesh? Do you know what happened to them? They have lost their portion. The moment your spirituality begins to fade, you have lost your passion. Instead of seeking what God will say, you are now seeking what men will say. You are now a news uh, gatherer, news correspondent, the journalist of LFC Lafia, looking for what is the current news, what they have to say more. You will now position yourself in strategic angle to confirm the news. You are now a witchcraft. You didn't come to church. Now hear this. I said before, everybody has passion. You either have passion for the good things or passion for the wrong things. And whatever occupies your heart, 80% and above every day is your passion. Anything that occupies your heart, 80% every day is your passion for that day. And as a man thinketh in his heart, so your passion determines your manifestations. You cannot miss it. Your passion determines your manifestation. If the faith is an all-important factor, then we must be passionate for it so that we will be decorated on this earth. Faith is what determines the color of our destiny. So why won't you be passionate for what will decorate you? For what will make you colorful? For what will make your life glorious? You need passion. Passion determines interest. Everybody's interested in something. And scripture said, delight yourself in the Lord and he shall grant you your heart desire. Passion determines interest. Nobody forces you on what you are not interested in. Anything you are interested in, you naturally flow in that direction. You don't struggle with your area of interest. It flows with ease. It flows. With your area 
of interest if you are with your phone. That's where you are going. Am I saying the truth? Because that's your area of interest. The moment you... You know, some people's area of interest is pornography. They can be in church and be doing pornography. Yes. You say not lie. I'm telling you the truth. They can be in church and be doing pornography. They can be pretending as if they are opening their Bible. Oh. Is it porn? Some people watch pornography before they came to church. Is their area of interest. What you have passion for. Even when the day just breaks, the first thing your phone open. Is there any new style? Is there any new method? Passion. You can't win in life if you lose passion for your faith. And to tell you the truth, the greatest attack of the enemy is on our faith. He wants us to stop trusting God and to start trusting our efforts. Efforts. Depending on man. The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From where cometh my help? He said, my help cometh from God. The maker of the heavens and the earth. I will lift up my eyes. So your passion for the faith is what determines your affinity for God. <laughs> draw near unto me and I will draw near unto you. For a long time, Israel was without the true God and without the teaching priest. It's and a great vexation came upon the people. Draw near unto me and I will draw near unto you. The Lord is with you while you are with him. If you forsake him, he will also forsake you. Our passion for the faith is what helps us to grow our faith. We have mustard seed faith. We have little faith. We have great faith. And we also have exceeding great faith. You can't grow in what you don't have passion for. You are either growing your faith passionately or you are groaning in life passionately. You can't miss one. You must catch one. You are either growing your faith passionately. The enemy is not gentle on his attack against your life. That is why you must be passionate with your faith. Every month, every week, every year, the enemy is looking for more strategy to reach you. Man, you need to be passionate about your faith so that you become an established conqueror. Taking the shield of faith whereby you shall be able to quench every fiery dart. Above all, taking the shield of faith So, as you grow in passion, you establish more victories. You see more open doors. You experience more change of level. The part of the jaws is as a shining light. Proverbs 4 verse 18. The shine brighter. It can't shine brighter if it's not passionate. There are some people now the way they started three, four years ago is not what, how they are now. Instead of appreciating, they are depreciating. Do you know the missing link? Passion. 
You can't grow in what you are not passionate about. So passion is the sustaining force for success, for progress, for anything that will work in your life. You don't reduce in trusting God and start trusting things. Men can fail, but God is constant. That's why I say, I'm the Lord, I change it not. And that is why you sons of Jacob, you are not consumed. I am the Lord, I change it not. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. You must be passionate for what, for what increases your faith. What injects your faith. You must take the faith injection. You must be passionate. Hear me? We will reclaim every of our lost passion. If you are saying amen, say better amen. The more passionate you are, the more eager you are to know more that I may know him. My brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, I press. Passionate people are pressing forward, but this one thing I do, I press towards the mark. I press, I press, I press. What will your life look like in the next two years, in the next three years? In the next four years, in the next five years, it is determined by your passion. Your passion. Your passion for faith affects every area or every other area of your life. Your marital life, your family life, your career. Your passion. So when your passion is working well and is sustained, nothing fails around you. Everything will be working. Why? The hand of God will be seen. When you are passionate for the faith on any issue that is a mockery in your life, I want to let you know your enemy will give up. I say your enemy will give up. You have not been passionate enough. That's why the blessings have not triggered. Sustain the passion. Sustain the passion. Keep pressing. Keep pressing. Keep pressing. Before you know what's happening, bah, the team must just answer. And lastly, our passion for the faith. Is what brings us to the realm of violence. Yesterday evening we looked at the power of declaration. Anything you believe, you never fail to declare. Because faith never fails. Why? God can't fail. The word can't fail. Against hope. Believed in hope. Man, it takes passion, man. From 1 to 25 years, it takes passion. Against hope. Believed in hope. And gave glory to God. Who collect those things that be not as though they were. When your passion for the faith is at work, anything that was not working before will begin to work. Amen. You better say a good amen. amen. When your passion for the faith is at work, the enemy will see you and begin to go far. Amen. It takes 
is the passion for the faith for you not to suffer any loss. No more loss. No more loss. You declared it yesterday, you will declare it again today. No more loss. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. When the fire of faith is released by reason of passion, our enemy stays far. They stay far. Do you know that the enemy is watching when you have cooled down, when your faith has cooled down, so that they can regroup and relaunch an attack? But there's no moment for cooling down. I say there's no moment for cooling down. If you are saying them and say better, amen. You keep firing your feet. You keep releasing. You keep speaking. You keep speaking. You keep speaking. Day to day utterance speech. Is there any day that God will not say something? Day to day utterance speech. Night unto night, sure knowledge. As God is saying something here now, God is saying something in another church. If you move to another place, God is saying something. I bet you your story must change. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. You must be passionate for your change to take place by being passionate for your faith. You must be passionate for your change to take place by being passionate for your faith. Lastly, your passion is what keeps you in motion. Want to be in motion? Going forward, it is your passion. Tell your neighbor it is your passion. Your passion Lastly, determines your unction. Portion, motion, unction. Add to your faith knowledge. Every time faith is experiencing addition as a result of passion, it brings about fresh oil, new oil, fresh oil, new oil, fresh oil, new oil. Every time your passion for the faith is on the right, faith is on the rise, faith is on the rise, the next thing that you will see, new oil, new oil, new oil. New barriers are going to be broken. New doors will begin to open. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. And you know the oil you carry determines the favor you see. Favor. <laughs> you can't have oil and not have favor. It's not possible. You can't have oil and not have favor. Any kind of favor you're talking about. You can't have oil and not have favor. When oil is flowing, favor will be flowing. After you are anointed today, you meet two men on the way. They will salute thee. They will be bring three loaf and give two to favor. But him by oil. What have made you lose your passion? Today you will let it. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say amen. Yeah. Losing your faith is equal to losing your life. Amen, Peter. Has desire as if you quit. I have before you thy faith not. Faith in your cost life. Faith do fail. You begin to lose. Begin to lose life. Faith failure equal to life failure. So our passion for our faith stops the losses. 
we block every avenue for losses. We frustrate every manipulation and every gang up that will bring about any ritual loss. There shall be no more loss in your life. There shall be no more loss in your career. There shall be no more loss in your business. If you are saying amen, say better amen. How do I create passion for my faith? Number one, you must develop hunger. You must develop hunger for the word. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You must develop hunger. Someone said, I don't feel like reading the Bible. Wait, when problem comes, you read it. It's when the Spirit comes upon me, that's when I feel like reading the Bible. Wait, the Spirit will soon come upon you. My son, pay attention to my word. Incline the ears to my saying. My son, pay attention to my word. Incline thy ears to my saying. Let them not depart from thy heart. Turn not away from the left or from right. For they are life unto thee and health unto thy whole flesh. Proverbs 4 verse 20. Go to verse 20. As deer pants after the waters, so does my soul long get for thee. So you sustain your appetite, your hunger for the world by going towards the world. Another thing that you will need to do, go from Doing normal church fasting to personalize fast. Some people only fast when we say today is Wednesday. We are reminding them. We are reminding them as if we are the owner of the destiny. We are reminding them that today is Wednesday, so we are going to be fasting today. So you move, you change them. Don't wait for church fast to be announced. Paul said in fasting often. If prayer is a struggle, is it fasting that we need normal? You call for prayer. Now we did it. Today is the last day of the seven-day prayer and fasting for intervention of the soul of Nigeria. Some people didn't come one day and they never fasted. As if they are doing church a favor. Those people they slaughtered, will you be happy if you are your own family? Begging them to fast. You are struggling with prayer. How will you now fast? You are the normal prayer or Monday prayer, Friday prayer is a struggle. Should be I go Monday. What am I going to do again? What are you looking for as you are going to work? Why don't you stay at home? Should be you go to work on Monday. Why are you going on Tuesday? Why are you going on Wednesday? You need a talk. You went on Monday, you are not going on Tuesday again. For what? The man did not say you are tired. You tell them that you are tired. <laughs> so if you went on Monday, you are not. Five o'clock, you don't wait. Hallelujah. hear me? It's an attack of the enemy on our life when our prayer passion begins to go down. Because whatever can kill your passion for prayer will kill your faith. And when your prayer life begins to go down, watch out. Depression will come in. Depression will come in. 
And before you know what's happening, you are off. That will not be your testimony. Yeah. You will not suffer loss again. Yeah. For there to be no more loss, there must be an intervention from God. Divine intervention. If God does not intervene, losses will continue. Losses will continue. If God does not intervene, losses will continue. But one way God intervenes, we looked at prayer, is by speaking. No wonder Paul rose up, I think it's in Acts 27, he said, God told me, there shall be no more loss. Just like God has declared to his servant, over you and your family, no more loss. Yeah. If you're saying amen, say it better, amen. Yeah. By a prophet, God brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, we are they sustained. And the prophet declared, according to my word, there shall be no more rain. There shall be no more rain. Everybody rise up to your feet. Standing on the prophetic word that has been declared, I declare over you, over your family, no more loss. Whatever has programmed you, your family, your destiny, your career, for another loss, the arrow backfire. He said, when the enemy will come, like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up his standard. I decree in the name of Jesus, a standard of intervention be lifted for you. Programmers of losses, I turn their arrow against you to backfire. Any design the enemy has put in place to initiate a loss against you, against your wife, against your children, against your family, let their own back catch fire. Whoever is sponsoring loss against you. Against your family. God of Oyedeko. Kill them now. Smite their high priest now. Affliction will not rise the second time. If you are saying amen, say better amen. For you and your family no more loss. The thou shalt be created. And shall be established. You are going to open your mouth now. It's a declaration for possession. You will open your mouth and declare no more loss in my family, no more loss in my career. By the power in the name of Jesus, we stop the manipulation of the enemy, we stop the attack of the wicked. No more loss in my business, no more loss in my career. No more loss 